Hello, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a TeamSpeak 3 server on your Mac on 100% free, no payment. So go on your web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. Um, so, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to use Google Chrome and I'm going to go to TeamSpeak.com slash page equal downloads with a question mark in there but you guys can this link is in the description but what you're gonna do your here is the Mac OS X it, download the client if you don't have it yet that's easy to, to set up you don't need me for that and just click this download for the server scroll down hit I agree submit and then hit no thanks take me to download and wait a minute so it starts downloading. There we go. Now let me stop this my server that's run running right now. And I'll be right and I will be right back when it is done. Alright guys, it's done download downloading. Let me make sure my server is down. Okay, it's not up. So now we have this in our downloads right here. Drag that to your desktop. Um, I have it on my desktop already, so I'm gonna just name it TS or I'll name it. We'll just keep it in our downloads for now. But you can drag in your applications or your desktop, um, whatever works for you. So I guess I will just drag it. I'll just keep it here. And if, so if you choose to do it in your to keep it in your downloads, um, it's going to be a, a little different. But but if you choose to do it in your desktop and application, you'll get it. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do CD space whichever folder you have it in so if it's in downloads um or you can just right click wherever it is and you can copy this and that's where it is that's its destination so you can just paste it and now terminal is looking in downloads or whichever folder you have it in then you do cd space and type t-e-a-m and then you can hit tab and it'll autofill and you can hit enter and now do dot slash ts3 server underscore mac and this is actually going to start up your server and as you can see it's starting up and everything so now hit allow because this is going to allow other people to join this is a firewall to allow other people to connect onto your router basically to allow people to log on to your server so hit allow and now just do type in localhost and hit connect and then it wants you to enter the privilege key the key is right here the token and you just paste it in okay now it's in um now what you're gonna need is an app called port map the link for the download is in the description but these three ports have to be entered and i'm gonna show you how I have them copied down on notes. Here they are. So what we we need to do, click this little plus button. When you first download it and open it up, it's gonna look like this. So open it up, or hit the plus button right here, and type in nine nine eight seven, enter TCP and UDP. That's very important. And now do do it again but 333 and now last time do it 111 like that okay now we have these ports entered now people can join our server from anywhere anywhere in the world so let's do this can instead of connecting with localhost you can now connect with an, your external IP address and your external IP will be right here so I'm just going to copy that and I'm gonna paste it 
And now if we look here, we are on the server. Here, I'll even disconnect. Disconnected. And reconnect. Connected. It automatically connects us using our IP address. Okay. So now we're in the server and everything. People can join with the external IP. But let's say you want to use something like um, ts. Dot your server name dot com. Well, you can go to websites like uh, freedns.afraid.org. Link is the link should be on the page, or you can go to dyndns. I think that's still free. It doesn't really work for me. I tried it, but it didn't really work. Or you can try dot dot tk. I know that's a really good one. I use it, I sometimes use it for stuff for redirect URLs but it does DYN D it does DNS as well so you can use either of those and they all work one more thing guys um, there is a way to just set it up really fast uh, not set it up but to open it up and instead of typing all those commands so to stop it we can do control C and it's shutting down now and it's done so now we can close it, but let's look for Automator. All Macs come with it. It'll, when you open it up, it'll ask about this. Click Application and hit Choose. Now look for Run, Run Shell Script. And what this is going to do, it's basically going to run those commands we did earlier. So we can do type in CD, Downloads, um, or what was that? what was that that thing what what was it it was cd oh yeah 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 okay we can get the info again i shouldn't have closed that copy that paste then we can do cd team speed and we can copy the name too how about that and then we can do dot slash ts3 server mac and then we can just go to save and save as ts3 I'm gonna call it ts3 YouTube but you can save it as whatever you want and let, let's make sure let's move it to yeah it's on my desktop okay so here it is ts3 YouTube is on the desktop we could just double click that and this gear starts running and now the servers up or starting up so we can connect to it now Connected. and it connects us now to stop it you don't just hit the X what you gotta do you go into activity monitor and you hit it'll be right here and right here um, I close both they don't close you can't close them both at the same time. Disconnected. You see, now the server is shut down. And that's how you do it super fast, how you turn on really fast. Thanks, guys, for watching. And Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, favorite, all that jiggity junk. And join my Minecraft server. It's in the description. That's how I learned to use TeamSpeak. So, yeah. Alright, thank you. Disconnected.